My name's Arthur Baker, record producer, DJ. Um, been doing it for years, and my nomination for the best DJ I've seen, ever seen, and there were a lot, there were a lot to choose from. Um, Mark Kamen's Jelly Bean were two of my favorites, and they were playing in New York at the same time as the guy I've decided to nominate, and the guy I'm nominating is Larry Levan from um, Paradise Garage, who actually just the records he played. You know, I pretty much remember hearing so many great records for the first time at the Paradise Garage. And he just, technically, he was a good DJ. Some nights he was great, some nights he was crap. But his his vibe and the records he played and turned people on to and the way he ran his parties were just amazing. So it's sort of, he was the guy, first time I ever heard um, Rapper's Delight, which you wouldn't think of as a Paradise Garage record, was there. Eddie Grant, uh, Walking on Sunshine, which... I later covered with Rocker's Revenge and had a really big hit with it. it. You'd go to the garage and you'd hear new records. He'd play anything. He'd play The Clash. He'd play everything and was the only... He would take chances on records when, when no one else would. He was so powerful at the time that people in New York, like Frankie Crocker, who was supposedly the most powerful person in the record business in... Um, in New York, who was WBLS, the program director, he'd go to Paradise Garage on the weekends, hear songs, and add them on Monday. So, I mean, Larry was basically pro programming BLS, and Larry could sell thousands of records on a couple of plays at the garage. And one night, there was a record shop, Vinyl Mania, and it was right near the garage, and Larry would play a track, and then the next day, there'd be a line of, you know, 100 people waiting to get the record. So, he had, he had that power, but... He was just, you know, he just ran the party and he played music that had, I mean, he played lots of vocals and back then, which I think something's missing, that's missing with dance music now is a lack of good songs and lyrics. And Larry would basically, he would theme a night and he'd play tracks directly at people like friends or enemies and he would sort of speak to them with the lyrics of his music and uh, that he played. He was also a great remixer, which is often forgotten that he was a really great remixer and remixed some of my favorite records. So I'd like to nominate Larry LeVan, Paradise Garage, as the world's greatest DJ. Mm -hmm.